Hi, it's Pete Reed. Uh, okay, uh, I've just been asked a question of how to create a text box with a scroll bar in a Google website. So what we're going to do is I'm going to come across here to where the question was actually asked. Thank you very much for the question. And, and what I've done in the answer is I've given an example of the code. So if I just copy that code, so I've highlighted that code and then control C to copy that code, I'm going to move across onto a Google website. Now this is a, a sample Google website using a sample theme um, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to go across, click on the pencil to go into edit page and then I'm going to find a spot on the page where I can click and then I'm going to insert, oops, insert a HTML box. There's my HTML box ready for me to enter my code. Control V to copy that code into the site. Now what's, hap what's actually happened here is that there were no returns inside of that, so it's all gone onto one line, there's no, no wrapping around. So I'm just going to add a couple of returns in here so that we can actually see the various elements. So the first element there is the height of the box. Now at the moment the, the height of the box is 100 pixels, and that's, that's fine, I'm not going to change that one. There's the width of the box, it's currently 140 pixels, so we've got a fairly small box. Uh, which is useful because we've only got a, a, a limited amount of text. The background colour of the box is currently yellow-green. The colour of the text is actually going to be white. The font of the text is uh, sans serif, so there's no squiggly bits on there. And the padding is 10 pixels on that font. And then underneath here, I've actually got the text that's actually going to be added inside of here. And at the end of the text, I've also got uh, this little comment to say it's the end of the div. So I've got the green div at the beginning, and I've got the green div at the end. So if I just save that, as you can see, it's now created me a HTML box. Once again, I'm just going to save that uh, page. Um, and so that is now there. Now, if I press the F5 key to refresh that page, then hopefully that uh, text box will make an appearance. And there it is, this HTML scroll box, and there's the text that we've got in there. And you can see the scroll box because it's big enough. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back into edit that box, or edit that page, down onto HTML, down onto the HTML box, click onto it, click on the cogwheel, and here I am back inside of this box. Now, if I change the width to, say, I don't know, 440 pixels, and then save again, and then save again, and then press the F5 key, then, as you can see, the scroll box is now there, or the text box is here, but the scroll box isn't, the scroll bar isn't there, because there isn't enough room for me to, there isn't enough uh, text for me to need to scroll, so therefore that scroll bar disappears. So let me go back again, click on the pencil, and what I'm going to do this time, this time is I'm just going to change the text that's here. So I'm clicking on HTML text box, I'm clicking on the cogwheel, um, and what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to come down onto a notepad where I've actually got some text available to me. So I'm highlighting this text, Control c to copy the text, back onto here, and then I'm going to replace the text inside of here, inside of that div marker, Control v and I've added some more text, and then save again. Save again, and then once again, F5 to refresh that page. And there, as you can see, I've now got this scroll bar. So again, I can go away and I can play with this to my heart's content, but I think that answers your question. I hope that helps. Thank you very much. It was a great question. Talk to you later. Bye.